This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Freeform Friday where we play some random video game and today's video game is called a Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. This is a, another a Warhammer 40k game and I gotta say every one of these Warhammer games I have played has been absolutely phenomenal. They do an absolutely fantastic job with this IP and I've loved every one I've played, including this one. I played through the prologue so I could get an idea because that's more or less the tutorial. Uh, we're going to go into a new campaign here and we're going to skip the prologue. We're gonna go to this one here and we're going to play it and we're gonna check it out and uh, hopefully you all enjoy it. I mean, like, look the at this. Of man, Full voice acted. A worlds scattered across it's great. An a million worlds forever under threat from the machinations of cursed traitors and perfidious Xenos. It is an empire consumed by war, by the very battle for survival itself, for there is no peace amongst the stars. The Space Marines, genetically modified warriors who know no fear, spearhead every counter-assault, taking the battle to the heart of the foe. From the smoke-wreathed horror of Adeptus Mechanicus Forge Worlds sail warships of fearsome potency, their weapons blessed by the Machine God, and their crews dedicated to the Omnissiah's holy cause. The Scola Progenium mold callow flesh into leaders, officers of the Imperial Navy, the greatest fleet ever to span the stars. These heroes dedicate their life to the Imperium's defense, confronting the ceaseless threat of chaos wherever it manifests. The war against the dark gods and their worshippers is the eternal battle for the soul of mankind, for the future of the galaxy itself. It is the forge upon which true heroes are struck and legends tempered. Admiral Spire is one such legend, savior of the Gothic sector, vanquisher of Warmaster Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. For centuries he has been lost, trapped in the shifting tides of the Immaterium, while in pursuit of the hated foe. Such travails would drive an ordinary man to madness, or into the clutches of the very gods he once opposed. But Spire is no ordinary man, and his time is coming once more. We're out. Praise the Emperor, but I can see the stars again. Receiving distress signals. The region's alive with them. According to the timestamps, Admiral, the year, it's 999M41. We've been lost in the warp for over 800 years. And Cadia, the hymnals report that it's been destroyed, sir. There's a lot of confusion out there, sir. And Admiral, Cadia fell at Abaddon's hand. Then we are returned not a moment too soon. Navigator, chart a course to the Cadian system. We may be an age too late to join the battle, but revenge is still within our grasp. Warp engines online. Geller Field holding. This is Admiral Spire to all Imperial vessels. Rally at coordinates 154 554. This isn't over. How freaking epic was that intro? Not since the Eye of Terror have I felt anything like it. Wait. This is not the Cadian system. Navigator, report. The Immaterium writhes, Lord Admiral. It has flung us far off course. I can see that, Domitian. Where are we? Star sights indicate we've entered real space in the Cadian sector. Confirmed. Not too far, but not close enough. Still, we have been fortunate. Have our astropaths send out a hymnal. All surviving vessels in the sector to rally at our position. Cadia needs our aid. Warship signatures inbound, Lord Admiral. K 
Chaos vessels. Indeed. Then our retribution begins. We hold this position. What is this I smell? Another so-called warrior come to chance his blade. Oh, I am now. Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Oh, yeah. Not this day, lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the War Master's throne. We shall see. Ready main batteries. Oh, it's on. Come get you some. So, uh, this is the game. Pretty much just space battles. But it's epic space battles. Are we not? Oh, he went invisible. Went invisible. We got to get him out of that cloud there. Go this Understood. way. We're gonna turn real sharp. We're gonna go fast. Coordinates acknowledged. We're gonna make him come out of there so that I can attack him. Yeah, if you want some, buddy, you're gonna have to come Heading over here. We're gonna go in this gas cloud here so I can do this, and it shows you the different uh, effects of the different things in space. Hiding. Engaging engines. We're gonna go in here and hide. So this is our basically our booster. We're out of our booster right now. This uh, allows them to just basically auto attack anything that's close by. They don't have other orders. Okay, here we go. Engaging. Yeah, engaged. Can we hit him with this? The lightning strike. Impossible, Admiral. Oh, almost. Underway. Go that way. Come on. Come on. Back in our range here. We need our engines to recharge so we can get closer to this guy. He's like hanging out right outside our range. All right. Oh. So quick turn. Burn. Turn and burn. Setting course. Here we go. Cut Cruising that. Set. Now we can uh, hit him with this. Impossible, Admiral. No, it's not impossible. Don't tell me that. It's in range. Impossible, Admiral. All right, we'll just attack him then. See if we can get closer. Okay. Cruising speed set. Now attack. Do the thing. Let's speed it up here and see what happens. We fired one time. I don't know why we're not firing that much. There we go. We fired a little bit. He's freaking pummeling us. Okay, so we both disappeared now. We're going to regen our shields, I guess. Go back to normal speed. Understood. Yeah, this is one guy. We're a massive ship, but for some reason we can't seem to kill this one guy. He right in there he is. There he is. Got him. Can we hit him now? Impossible, Admiral. Why is everything impossible? There we go. Shoot that. Hit him with the torpedoes as well. Fire all the target things. Locked in. Yeah, lock the target. Kill him. The range on our ship is weird. They didn't really explain these two lines. We have two lines here. I don't know if this is the range that they have to be in for us to actually fire with this ship. And what this or if this is like the identified range. If they get in here, they're going to see us. We're in here. I don't know. Enemy vessel. He's not firing. Like, just fire more. There we go. There we go. For the Emperor. I only got one dude left. We might be able to fire some torpedoes there. Engaging target. Where are the torpedoes going? Why are they not hunting him? Engaging engines. Cruising speed set. Okay, you know what? Engaging. Through this. Underway. One of the things you can do that I think is cool is ram other ships. Coordinates acknowledged. That's what I'm trying to do here. We're going to ram him. Got three Target people. Shoot in. him already. Kill him. 
Course engaged. All right, maybe we put the range down to four. They'll get close enough. Speed it up a little bit. We need to get out of this stupid. Engaging you know what? Go this way. Get out of here. I'm tired of playing around in this stupid gas field. He can't do anything to us because he can't even get rid of our shields. I'm gonna pull him, pull him out of here. Cause I'm really getting tired of like not being able to see each other. It's annoying. Understood. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now get in here and kill this guy. He's just going to town on us. Can we lightning strike him now? There we go. That jacked him up a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we got him. Jesus, that was ridiculous. Excellent. Their firepower will be a great asset. Well met, fabricator. How many ships do you bring me? All that could be found, Lord Admiral. I regret that we bring enemies on our heels. Duty breeds enemies, Fabricator. Join your fire to ours. We'll see them ended. Okay, so I think we're gonna go after this one first. So we can do this and they'll just, like it says, this is unless the ship receives another order, it will just automatically target the closest enemy detected. But I was finding that that was a bad choice to make because they weren't always attacking what need to be attacked. So we're going to Targeting enemy vessel. attempt this. See if they do what we need them to do. So and then you can set like priority or set them to attack specific things. So like focus the weaponry or what have you. For some reason we can't do that with this one. Can't focus fire anything. So we're just going to do normal fire and Coordinates acknowledged. put them right there like that. This guy keeps hiding in this asteroid field, but that's not going to work for, for long. Um, would be able to select this guy and then Heading turn him that way. Tell them to use the broadside and then these guys do the same thing so we can like move him that way. This little tiny ship here, we'll just move that one over to the side. He can just kind of do whatever. We'll put him on auto attack there. This one, I want to tell it what to do. Why are you not firing your broadside engines? Or broadside weapons engine? Yeah, engines. Fire your broadside engines. Broadside weapons. There you go. There you go. Now you're doing the thing. Let's fire torpedoes. What's this guy got? Um, salt. Doing all right. He's regening his shield. So when it's the purple, they're regening shields. Guy over here. I don't know what this guy's doing. Um. Could focus this way, and maybe torpedoes. Let's try it. Let's try torpedoes. Gonna do the thing. Oh yeah, that that jacked up his day. Okay, so now let's grab everybody. Changing course. Burn those engines. Let's move. Speed it up a little bit there. Setting course. Now they should just do the thing now. Yeah, see now they're just auto attacking, which is what we want. And then we can just speed it up a little bit now and just watch the battle play out. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't do it. I wanted to do this. There we go. You can get a like different look 
of the battle. Look at it from the top. It's pretty neat. Hold the uh, middle mouse button down allows you to rotate the camera. And of course we can move around. There we go. You need to get out of there. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. A pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abradol at my side. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. Seems they've come in strength, Lord Admiral. Oh, we're All we're ships. going to we're going to fight. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. I didn't even really have to do anything. Uh, what do we want to? Withdraw. All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. It's not letting me. That's weird. Is that what I think it is? Hmm. The sons of dawn heed your call. Oh, nice. Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Faith is well enough, but hope and faith bring victory sooner. The war never ends, Lord Admiral. We shall fight it together. Um, I kind of lost my ships. We got a mutiny over here. We're going to have to execute some people. Um, where's my other ship? There it is. Uh, can we just do this? Need to select all ships. I don't know where my ships are. That's not my ship. That's not my ship. Both of those are my ships. Did we lose that little tiny one? Where's this other guy? You need to get in the battle. Kick it. Get up here. Oh, wow. Booking it. Get you some battle on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so his shields are down, but he'll be alright. I think. AB. Lost some turrets. The spirits obey. You need to get out. Shields are down, health's down. These two can handle this guy. Get some interceptors in there. And let's hit him with a lightning strike. Not impossible. Just do the thing. Fine, whatever. Fire torpedoes. Oh, he dodged our torpedoes. He really wants to destroy this guy. You need to get out of there. He's... He's got it out for you. He wants to kill you. I kind of wish we could zoom back a little further. But uh, we'll be all right. Moving, you're good. Man, he really, really wants to kill that guy. You're going down. You're going down. You in range of that? Nope. Would you please lay off my dude? You know what? Get in this. Oh, I think he he jacked up our engines. We get in here, we'll be all right. He won't be able to see us. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Uh-oh. Looks like the front of our ship's taking a beating. Don't attack. Hang out in there. Okay, good. We're good. Now he has to... Oh, whoa. You need to get in there, too. Let the big let the big boy here handle it. We about got him. And hit him with that. Yeah, get you some lightning strike. No, stop fighting. Get in there. Get your shields back. This guy hits really hard, like, with the shields. Let's all get in here. Let's all just go down here. Put this game down just a little so I can focus on what's going on. Burn. Cruising speed. Go cruising speed. 
Turn that off for everybody. Everybody just kind of hang out. Let our shields regen. Our health is beat to heck. Uh, what does this do? Weapon? No. I thought we had like um, emergency repairs. Okay, so that fixed our turrets. Target locked in. Everybody, everybody, kill this guy now. Dang, his shields went down already. He's got like no shields. Engaging engines. Yeah, there he is. Get him. Get him. Release some more of those. Hit him with a lightning strike. Hit him with a boarding party. Impossible, Admiral. Oh, now. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of his crew. Oh, we, we got his engines down. We got him. He's done. Nice. No further I like how it does these cutscenes, too. Ships. Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drangus how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. Well, unfortunately, we have hit our wrap-up time. This has been Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll put links to it down in the description. Those links may or may not support the channel. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Elite Crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.